Right guys, today we're going to work with uh, something called manifold body. Uh, if I were to start with a new part file, uh, this is a template I created earlier. So this is just a new part file where I uh, chose the display state and I saved that as a template earlier. I'm going to start with the top plane. I'm going to create myself a little sketch. And this sketch is going to be a center to corner rectangle, snapping at the origin and the dimensions of this um, part or this this rectangle rather um, there, there are no fixed dimension I'm just freestyling so you, you can go ahead um, choose your own numbers right so that's there's a rectangle there we can there is a quick way in SOLIDWORKS to create um, parallel planes for instance you can grab on to you can hold, click and hold control and you can grab on to the top plane as I, as I can do that as I can um, as I'm showing here on the screen and uh, if you let go that gives me a parallel plane this saves you going to features, reference geometry, plane, and so on and so forth. So, quick way is to press and hold control, select the plane you want to create a parallel plane from, and then drag out. I'm going to green tick to confirm to that. On plane one, I am going to create another sketch which happens to be another rectangle, exactly same as earlier. So I can I can use convert entities, or I can redraw a rectangle on, on top. There we have it. We have two rectangles spaced from each other. I'm going to go to surfaces, planar surface. I'm going to select this sketch here. Green tick to confirm. That gives me a surface filled within that rectangle. I can do exactly the same over here. So uh, boundary surface. And that should give us, oops, oh, let's just stick to the basic planar surface. Select the rectangle, green tick to confirm, and that gives us that, those two surfaces. Right, with these two surfaces, we can do things like freeform them. So if I were to select this surface here, switch on job node symmetry in direction one, which is this direction here, I'm going to roll these two bars to uh, movable. So bo both of them um, continuity are set at movable and if I were to select this line here or this this edge rather I can grab onto these um, these arrows or these handles very much they are very much like uh, the ones in uh, spline I can I can freeform my surface like like so you know what I'm happy with that surface the way that looks I'm going to green tick come out of it and there we have it. We managed to freeform that surface into that uh, desired shape. Right, I'm going to freeform this surface now. So I'm going to pre select, freeform. I want to apply symmetry in direction one and roll all of these to movable. Or you can do movable tangent. Let's just stick to movable for the time being. Right, select this edge, give it some sort of curvature. Select this edge, flex it out like so. Over here, maybe about that much. There we go. Green tick to confirm. Now we have two really curvy surfaces. What I'm going to do is create a uh, another plane, a uh, parallel plane, parallel to uh, top plane. Over here somewhere, green tick to confirm. And on that plane, I'm going to create a little sketch, which is going to be a slot. I'm going to snap onto the center point. I'm using the center to outward slot. To draw myself a little slot about that big. Green tick to confirm, exit sketch. And as you can foresee, I'm going to create extruder surface. Instead of starting from the sketch plane, I'm going to start from surface. I want SOLIDWORKS to create a surface from this surface and carry on going further up. And I'm going to specify the extent of the direction by selecting up to, not vertex, up to surface. I can't select. And I'm going to select this 
second surface so initial condition is this surface here starting start building from that point up to the second surface which gives us a surface in between like so now I can do things like uh, trim let's just see what happens when we trim mutual I'm going to select all of them three surfaces in remove selections I'm going to trim off that unwanted surface let's see if we can apply a fillet face fillet of three millimeters from this face to this face filler options constant width tell you what I think we can get get away with about five millimeter without wrecking the, the surfaces so green tick to confirm there we have it let's try that again face fillet five mil this time we want to apply the fillets to these these surfaces and I'm gonna go up to eight this time there's no preview so I think we need to toggle the direction of these fillets there we have it and I'm going to set that fillet option to constant width again rent it to confirm I'm going to send these planes away I intentionally left front plane because I'm going to use that right there we have it if you're watching this folder here we have one surface which is um, which is labeled as fillet 2 that is the latest option uh, operation we performed so it has uh, come up with that name there I'm going to try and see if I can switch off the edges it's really good looking organic uh, surface we can use that for a number of domestic products starting from remote to mobile phone obviously no one's gonna buy in that mobile phone but uh, there we have it that is called a manifold body now as I said this is this, this is just a bunch of surface actually this is just one surface so uh, what we can do with this is thicken if I were to select that obviously these are all connected surfaces it gives me an option to create solid from that I'm going to green tick to confirm and it is a solid body now right on the front plane I want to draw the split line so let's just see if we can split this body using spline I'm going to draw myself a little split line like so exit the sketch in direct editing if you don't see direct editing I reckon you right click bring out direct editing from here so in direct editing split if this is not pre-populated select the newly created sketch if I had cut part now it gives me a chance to save these separately right there's something going on here that curvature there it's actually not splitting through uh, nice and clear so I'm going to uh, flex that spline further out edit that sketch display control polygons sometimes it's a good idea to switch on the lines like so so we know we are not going through through that I'm going to reposition that and you guys know the risk in more now that looks curvy enough exit the sketch change the display type to it is visible now and let's see if we can split that again so split trim tool it's going to be that newly created sketch cut part and that gives us a cut like shown just want to play
made a few changes to the sketch now and now it's cutting through the, the middle so if I were to go back into split trim tool is it's the newly created sketch cut part and if I were to select one of these to split out so I selected the lower one green tick to confirm and we have two solid bodies split one and split two now we can do things like uh, right click send that to a new part file where is that one insert into a new part and we can detail that separately and we can right click on split one insert into a new part detail that separately even if you do that there will be a link between this blank file and the newly produced file so uh, for the time being let's say if we can hide that surface there or that uh, body and I want to apply shell three millimeter with that open surface or open face and it gives me a really nice shell it's looking like a, a tin of sardines now and I can hide that bring the other one out do exactly the same shell Leave this face open, green tick to confirm, and there is the other half. Right, let's carry on working on the other one. For this one, we can do things like um, apply ribs. So, just to show you quickly how ribs work, I need to create a plane parallel to the top plane. Let's say I want to create a plane over here somewhere. I'm making sure that I have enough material to, to, to produce my rib through. So we're going to have our ribs at that level there. I'm going to green tick that. On plane 3, I'm going to create a sketch. It's going to be just a few lines, a couple of lines. I'm sure you guys know ribs are for they work like stiffener so that is to make this these stop these walls falling in green tick to confirm exit the sketch ribs are over here so let's see if we can apply ribs now ribs I'm to select both of them the gray arrow shows the preview that's going to come out we don't want it to go that way we want to flip the material side 10 millimeter will be too big I think I want that to be same thickness as the, the ball thickness so three millimeters select body to rip to I want the ribs to be starting from that point coming up to the body and let's see if that gives us anything all right we have ribs so on so forth so you can create a network of ribs as necessary here is something else I produced earlier somewhat similar exactly the same um, same plan of work and as I said you can you can bring out any of these carry on the detailing hide it look at the other one detail that hide it you can right click at them on them anytime send them into a new part and you can use those parts for all sorts of purposes rapid prototyping rendering producing drawings etc etc